Hello and welcome to the December 2022 Sky Report. Here's what's happening in the sky of Southern California. Looking to the evening sky, the most prominent object to the east-southeast is the red planet Mars. Mars is in Taurus the Bull. The brightest star in Taurus is Aldebaran, an orange star. Above Aldebaran is the beautiful Pleiades star cluster. This cluster is best viewed with binoculars. The left horn of Taurus connects to the constellation Auriga, a chariot driver. Capella is the brightest star in this constellation. Here is a challenge. I took this picture of the same area of the sky as shown in the previous graphic from Griffith Observatory last month. See if you can spot Mars, Taurus, the Pleiades, above the bright city lights of Los Angeles. I've drawn in blue lines to make it easier to see. This image shows Taurus, Pleiades, and Mars above the trees. The right horn of Taurus is partially hidden behind trees, while Capella is just above the treetop. For the last few months, Mars has brightened up, nearly five times brighter on December 1st compared to September 1st. This is due to the Earth catching up to Mars on its inside orbit. Earth is closest to Mars on December 1st. At that time, Mars is at maximum brightness. On the 7th, Mars' opposition occurs when it's in line with the Earth and Sun. The close distance of Mars to Earth is a great opportunity for amateur astronomers to take detailed images of Mars. This image was taken in late October. The northern polar ice cap and surface features are clearly visible. On the night of December 7th, when Mars is at opposition and still bright, there is a lunar occultation of Mars. This is when Mars disappears behind the moon and reappears an hour later. The Mars occultation happens while the moon is full. As shown in the purple shaded area, the Mars occultation is visible over most of North America and parts of Western Europe. The times when Mars occultation occurs depends on your location. As seen from Los Angeles, Mars is about a quarter of a degree from the moon's eastern limb at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. At 6.31 p.m., Mars begins to disappear behind the moon. An hour later, Mars emerges from the western limb of the moon. The Mars occultation is over. At 8 p.m., Mars is about a quarter of a degree west of the moon. Weather permitting, Griffith Observatory will stream the Mars occultation live through telescopes on the roof. Please join us for this unique event. A week after the Mars occultation, the annual Geminid meteor shower occurs on the night of the 13th to the morning of the 14th. Under clear dark skies, 150 meteors per hour are expected, but rates will significantly decrease by bright moonlight after 9.54 p.m. on the night of the 13th. Looking towards the south in the evening, the bright planet Jupiter is visible to the southwest. Jupiter lies between two constellations, Pisces the Fishes and Cetus the Whale. During the middle of the month, Jupiter sets just after midnight. While Jupiter is ready to set, Mars ascends high in the southeast. From Los Angeles, Mars is nearly overhead around 11 p.m. in the middle of the month. Below Mars, the brightest stars sparkle from the winter constellations of Orion the Hunter, Gemini the Twins, Canis Minor the Lesser Dog, and Canis Major the Great Dog. Speaking of winter, the winter solstice occurs at 1.48 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, this is when the sun rests at the most southern point on its annual path or ecliptic around the sky. The motion of the sun along the ecliptic happens when the earth moves in its orbit around the sun and it appears that the sun travels around the sky along the ecliptic. At local noon from Los Angeles, the sun is about 34 degrees above the south horizon, the lowest noontime altitude for the year. The December solstice marks the beginning of winter in the northern hemisphere and the beginning of summer in the southern hemisphere. On December 28th, four planets and the moon are visible in the evening sky. Low to the southwest, the brilliant planet Venus is about one degree from Mercury. Both planets are about six degrees above the horizon, 40 minutes after sunset. Above Venus and Mercury, you can still catch a glimpse of Saturn in the fading twilight. Saturn sets just before 8.30 p.m. Above Saturn, the near first quarter moon is located below the brilliant planet Jupiter. 
This arrangement of planets and the moon is a fine sight towards the end of the year. Our moon phases this month. Full moon is the 7th, last quarter is on the 16th, new moon is on the 23rd, and first quarter is on the 29th. And that's all for this month's Sky Report. Until next time, cheerio!